Welcome back and I hope you're doing well and today we're going to talk about one of the supplements that I've mentioned in previous videos and that would be melatonin. I've talked to patients and they've asked me well what does melatonin do? So let's look at it. Whether you have been infected with COVID-19 whether you've had the vaccine, whether you have not been infected or had the vaccine, but we're promoting that you get the vaccine. But, but any of those um, uh, situations, I highly recommend the following, and that would be vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, curacetin, melatonin, and for those of you who go to the uh, www.covidlonghaulers.com website and uh, check out their uh, algorithm. I also would uh, mention ivermectin as a potential uh, medication that has been shown to help people. Talk to your primary care doctor and also I would put that in the medications and the supplements that I would be using. Melatonin is a hormone that is used to control our, our sleep-wake cycle. And interesting enough, there have been studies and anecdotal evidence that shows that melatonin helps with prevention of COVID-19 and treatment. So Dr. Chang and uh, his colleagues at the Cleveland Clinic uh, did a study where they reviewed uh, COVID-19 patients from a registry. And they found in their study that those patients that took melatonin were 27, 28% less likely to become COVID positive. Even more interesting, they found that the African American patients were 52% less likely to become COVID positive. Pretty interesting information. Dr. Chang also stated, uh, even though these results seem pretty compelling, that a lot more research needed to be done. Melatonin does play a regulatory role in the immune system. It also is a very uh, powerful anti-inflammatory agent in acute as well as chronic inflammatory processes. That study can be found in the link below. I, I would recommend looking that study over because all of us have talked about melatonin and we've kind of thought about melatonin as a uh, something to help us sleep. And there's about, I think there's about eight other studies being done right now globally to look at melatonin and its, um, and its role. One of the things that I found that was pretty interesting that we all know bats, bats, they harbor coronavirus. And of course we know that bats are night animals. And so they tend to have a lot of melatonin. In fact, they are the species of all species that have the most melatonin in their system. And we know again uh, that they carry a lot of coronavirus and they, and they do fine. However, it was noted in research and looking into the bats that if you decrease the synthesis of melatonin in the bats, they don't do well, they die. And so that kind of speaks to the fact that melatonin might play a role in this coronavirus infection. I wanted to do this video because um, a lot, again, a lot of people think that it's just for sleep, but we're finding out other information about it. It's a very strong antioxidant. It also has been shown to neutralize nitrous uh, oxide radicals in the body. And as mentioned above, it plays a very important role in acute and chronic anti-inflammatory uh, processes that go on in the body. It also increases the ACE2 receptor, uh, which has important effects with SARS-CoV-2. 
uh, melatonin side effect profile is is almost zero it's cheap 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 and you can get it almost anywhere I wanted to really zero in on that melatonin because most people are are thinking well I'm taking the melatonin to, to go to sleep and that's about what their thoughts are melatonin could really be helpful so I've been vaccinated but I still take the the vitamin D the vitamin C the melatonin the curacetin and um, the zinc daily because I I don't know, you know, when the antibodies are going to go down or if they may go down in me. And so I want to continue to do the things and take the supplements that are going to increase my immune system. And so with that, if you have comments, put it in the comment section below, share and subscribe. We'll see you next week.